following tarot card reading is rated Leo, welcome to your Storms of Passion love reading for the month of September 2022. All right now, my darling, before we get into it, if you need a personal reading and you want to contact me, Leo, then the way to do that is definitely up there on that screen, baby. Yes, Leo, that's all of my personal contact information. Just in case you need a personal reading, contact me then, love. All right, now, my darling, if this reading resonates with you, then don't forget, hit the like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages, okay? And if it doesn't resonate with you, Leo, then don't worry about any of that. I'm just going to get you next time, okay? Now, my darling, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into your reading here. Mm. Well, Leo, you see, this person may not be exactly expressing to you how they feel or how deep their feelings are running within them at this moment okay but rest assured my darling that they have very strong feelings for you leo one of which is jealousy baby they saying i'm jealous okay can't you see i want you for myself only so leo it's like i don't know if you are uh, very sociable or a lot of people are attracted to you but this person wants you for themselves only now i can see they did something that you didn't like which you know hurt you but they said that i never meant to hurt you okay and you feel that you know they're very toxic or this love relationship is toxic but they said yes yes this is this love is toxic but i will never leave you okay i will never leave you i will never uh let you leave me either now my darling the charm that you got to uh go with these cards is the clock here leo okay the clock now what the clock symbolizes is first of all life and death this person doesn't want to end the relationship there whether the relationship get like a uh, life or a rebirth just in case you two have split apart here if you two have not split apart here this person does not want the relationship to end so therefore they are willing to change leo okay because the clock symbolizes change as well this person doesn't want to be the same type of individual they were before they want to change you know their mannerism they want to change their conduct my darling okay now you also have this person talking about they know that they be saying things so they want to change those things that you deem as toxic and negative and they don't even want to say anything else they just want to be quiet and they know you want them to be quiet so they're saying but if you want me to shut up then come and sit on my face now because if you don't come and sit on my face, then my face is just going to say all kind of things that you don't like because you're not sitting on it. My darling, listen, and when you do that, I'm going to fuck you so good tonight. I mean, just get ready, all right? And, 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 and while I'm fucking you like that, you know I'm going to be obsessed with sucking on your breasts. All right, so this person is uh, one heck of a character, uh, Leo. My goodness, this person is like very freaky, I would say. Now, love, the charm that you have to uh, clarify that is the flower right here, okay? Now, the flower symbol symbolizes like 
fragility, okay? You're like you're very fragile, or this person is very fragile, or they know that you are very fragile because, you know, you just have such a, a beautiful essence and heart about you, okay? It also symbolizes life and death. So they don't want anything to end because of you being as fragile as you are, okay? Now this person can also think that or feel that they are fragile to you, you being the lion or the lioness and can easily bite this person's head off okay but they're the ones up there thinking that they can hurt you right but you've been very you know calm purring and everything right just you know hey you you could be just licking your wounds right now too leo all right like maybe this person i'm done to deck on much or maybe you had to scratch a mirror at them and now they're sitting up there talking about, I never meant to hurt you. Now, baby, look at this person talking about, I don't want to give you my love because I know I lose my mind. Okay? Now, they're talking about, uh... They don't want to give the love to the kitty, okay? It's all, it's about the kitty with this person. And, you know, this person is like, listen, uh, I'm about to come open your mouth. Okay. Well, I mean, Leo, this person, like, they want, they want you to sit on their face. I mean, that's your kitty sitting on that kitty, the booty, baby. Uh, the wand on their face, baby. You know, the balls, everything is going to be on this person's face if you sit on it. So you can't get, you know, uh, 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 you know, shocked that the person saying that they, you know, about, about to come, want you to open their mouth. Or they about, or they want you to come so they can open their mouth. My darling, here is the boat hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the boat symbolizes like the journey on the sea of life. This person is learning some life lessons, okay? They're learning some life lessons and they know that they're going to have to come better than how they have been coming before. But we need to go into the dark roya to get more information about this person here. My darling. Mm. Yes, Leo. They are very obsessed with your breast hair, love. This is the lovers, okay? This person wants to come up from behind you. They want to go ahead and breathe on your neck. They want to reach down for your breasts and just be sucking all over them. They have an obsession with that, okay? <clears throat> the only problem is they're still in some type of dark energy. They want to change or make you believe that they've changed, Leo, and been triumphant with it, this, um, uh, this is a chariot right here. Yes, this is a chariot. Uh, they may want to make you believe that they have, uh, you know, had their lower selves or, or toxic selves submitting to them now and not something that's going to take over them anymore, okay? Now, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Here we got this person right here uh, feeling left out, Leo. They're feeling like you left them out. They're feeling like, you know, you're, you're stonewalling them. They feel left out in the cold, five of pentacles. They're just sitting there all in their feelings and, and crying and whatnot. They, are, they have their eyes set on you, though, with the ace of swords, baby. This person intends to do some type of seduction that is completely out of this world. Something that they have never seduced anybody with before, okay? Now, Leo, it looks like they're going to have some strong weapon with them, okay, with this daggone phallus uh, that they're going to be hitting you with, okay? Now, my darling, they, they expect that's going to work wonders. Here is the, the magician right here, Leo. They expect that they're going to be, you know, uh, utilizing their magic and they're just going to get you back on their team. They think this is just going to work, baby. Now, currently, you got some type of judgment against them, okay? Currently, it's like, you know, you're not trying to deal with with them this person know you're like a very high uh angelic being okay and they're like you know uh seven of um cups very upset about that though they're upset about you being a, a, a higher being and they're like man would you step down off of your pedestal please can you come off of your uh uh throne just for a minute Leo, so that I can, you know what I'm saying, have my way with you. I'm jealous. I know you, I see you up there on that throne, Leo. 
okay and it's like you know i see a whole bunch of people all surrounding you all interested in you all wanting you okay they love the way you look they love the way you sound they love you they love it now come down but i need you to come down off of that throne and let me just go ahead and touch you again i just need to touch you again baby Okay, I'm so jealous. Bottom of the deck, baby. Look, this person, intimate friend. Uh, they feel that there, you got a whole bunch of these around you. Knight of uh, Cups here. This person feel you got a whole bunch of people coming at you with all kind of offers. And you might, Leo. Okay, you might have a whole bunch of people coming at you with a whole bunch of offers. Because, I mean, hey, you're on the throne looking like, and you just... Giving off some type of energy that people just want to go ahead and be the king of pentacles on you. King or pen, king or queen of pentacles want to make you their husband, their wife. They want to spend their money on you. Okay, they want you also to sit on their face. People are very attracted to you right now, Leo. Here we got the queen of swords right here, okay? And it looks like you're just teasing people. Leo, you just you showing a little bit of your booty. I mean, you're very hot. You're very sexy, okay? And you just showing this little thing. <laughs> you want to get found just showing this little thing. And that little bit is just driving people up the damn wall. And this person just got some things that they need to say, okay? They got some things that they need to say to get you back. Because it's like this little bit that you showing everybody else is a little bit that you showing them too. And they remember when they was able to get the full view, okay? So, love. Let's go from this bottom of the deck here, baby. Person like, ah. Uh, with each breath I take, I rise more and more in love with you. Okay, but that's everybody. <laughs> that's everybody, Leo. <laughs> you got a whole bunch of people around you like this. Like, wait a minute, I mean, you're going to have to come better than that, love. Leo is, you know, yawning on the, on the, uh, on the throne right now. So this person is like, look at me. Because Leo looking away like, you know, everybody said that to me, honey. Uh, look at me, this person is claiming. I love you more than you could ever know, okay? I love you more than you could ever know. Just look at me, Leo. Let me see your eyes. Let me, let me look upon you. Let me look into your soul, baby. You're like, what? So I say, you tempt me, love. You make me need you close. I mean, it's like, it's like, come on, baby. Come on, baby. I mean, come on, what you doing, baby? Why you... Why are you doing all that? Come on, I mean, let's listen to me. I love you more than you could ever know. Let's, I just, with every breath I take, I'm just rising more and more in love with you. Bottom of the deck, baby. Listen, how could you do me that way, Leo? That's probably what you're asking them. Like, okay, you see, you're talking about you rise in love with me with every breath you take, but how could you do me that way? This person's like, I'm not blind. I did you that way because I'm not blind. I see all these people just want to take you away from me. Leo, I was jealous, baby. I was jealous. I was jealous, damn it. Listen, I want you. I want you, Leo. Oh, my goodness. I'm just about to cry, baby. I'm about to cry. I want you so bad. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, they got some more to say. I want you, man. Okay, boom, baby. Baby. Don't leave me. Oh my goodness. You're my only friend. Don't leave me. Don't leave. You're my only friend. I need you to hold me like you used to, Leo. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, this, this person is fragile. Listen, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you mine. Okay? You may have been fragile to this person like a little kitten. You know, you're, you're lying, lioness, but you probably was just purring in this person's hands and, and that's on. This person just hurt you like that. Now they're talking about, um, uh, gosh, um, when falling for you was a mistake. I'm broken now, okay? Let's put that over here. Now understand, my life is nothing without you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Top of the deck. Okay. Now, I'm just, I just want to put it on you now. Like a real man, a real woman is supposed to, Leo. That's what I need. I need you to go ahead and let me do that. 
Ooh, they're very emotional. My goodness, let's go into the cupper, baby. Mm, they want to give you some kind of gift. They want to give you a gift. It could be that this person is working and saving up money to get you one hell of a gift, Leo. Yeah, toil and laboring. They are working their behind off to get you this gift. Listen, the lovers here, baby, they need you to be their lover again. They need you to hold them like you used to. And you're about to get this message, and this message is going to concern you with this person. Okay? Now, we're going to have to go ahead and go into the zodiac signs that you're dealing with here, Leo, because people are very fragile okay okay first sign you got is capricorn being all emotional like that trying to make you feel sorry okay and then you have the uh virgo okay virgo all crying in their feelings and whatnot then you got uh cancer of course cancer crying Cancer crying like a baby. Okay, you got Saturn. You don't feel you want to be in this relationship because it may be karmic. You got the, uh, uh, what's that? That's the Capricorn again and Aquarius. You got the Mercury right here. This is uh, Gemini and Virgo again. Okay, so here we got the Aquarius on the board again, Leo. All right, now how about this Taurus right here? Taurus is like, you know, trying to act like they don't have no uh, feelings and whatnot, but they're about to break down. Here is the Mars right here. This is that Scorpio and that daggone uh, Aries. Okay, so you know, they're, they're, they're trying to be all strategic, trying to get you to fall for some type of magic trick of love, a strong, heavy love bomb. But Leo, baby, the moonology is talking about nothing is yet set in stone. So if they come in with some type of strong love bomb for you, uh, mutable moon. Leo, you're a fixed sign, but you're going to have mixed feelings about it, not fixed feelings. We got believe in the impossible. This is a blue moon. This person thinks it's impossible to get you back. Okay, now we got, uh, or they need to believe that it is possible. Uh, conclusions are within your reach. This is a full moon eclipse. That's the only way they're going to be able to eclipse how they are feeling, okay? To come to a conclusion. So let's go into the Menorah Erotic Oracle. You see, this person is sharing tales of love and romance to their friends and their family. Like, I know Leo is upset with me right now, but I'm going to get them back and nobody believes that they're going to do it because of how hot and sexy you are, baby. Because it's not this just person watching you it's these folks around them watching you too okay and have we got the freedom to be yourself they see you are being yourself they see you got the freedom and everything and they don't think you're going to allow yourself to be encaged by this individual right now leo or in the future or whenever baby they don't they don't see that happening you you are too free right now and they see that you are a lion, lioness, free in the wild. And everybody wants you, okay? They see you the lion and lioness on the throne too, okay? So it's like, baby. They don't think this person is going to be able to do it. So this person is going to work real hard to try to get you with some type of gift, Leo. Also telling you all types of things that are be going to be like concerning, okay? They know you got a big heart, baby. So they're going to try to work that heart to their advantage. Hmm. Well, Leo, I'm going to let that marinate, my darling. This is...